Hey everyone, welcome back to 5 Day Crypto. Do not adjust your screens. This is actually me. A little bit more colorful than when I left. I was on vacation last week. If you didn't know, then you don't watch my videos. Because I didn't make any last week. I was out of the country. Now I'm back in the country. Back to the good old US of A. Looking at what video do you think we might make the first one back? Chainlink. We're going to look at Link today on a couple different charts. We have some potential good signs, some potential warning signs, but no matter what we do in our videos, we try to keep it as factual chart based as possible. Try to leave out my opinions. So let's get right to it. Link on the five day Gaussian channel. As you know, anytime you're at the bottom of a Gaussian channel on a five day, it's usually a good time to buy. However, uh, where are we now? Uh, we usually, when you break one of these three lines, to one side or the other, you're, the odds in crypto are you're going to go to the next line that's closest to it. So look at where we are right now. Why am I saying that? Look at where we are. Last week, we just cl we closed five days ago, uh, about four days ago, right? We closed this one right on the median line. Look at our current current candle. Uh, how, how close are we? We're close. If we could manage to close just right around 2450, this candle would actually close green because we closed this candle at 2446. So actually 2447, this would close green and right on that line. Uh, we need to close a little bit higher to close above it, but anything 2450, 2470, 2480, something in there would be okay to me. And we would continue to hold this median line as we have done since we've got above it back in July. We don't want to break this again. If we do, if we close this, we have nine, this closes today. Nine, nine and a half hours from now if we close under here does that mean we definitely go down to the bottom of course not nothing is definite in crypto uh anybody that's operating that you're watching and says deterministically things are going to happen if that happens stop watching them uh nothing in crypto is certain but uncertainty so anyone that says something's definitely got to happen does not run <laughs> Run from that person. So the, you have to play the odds. The odds are, if we close this candle, the odds are we're probably going lower short term. Based on the charts, based on the five-day Gaussian period, plain and simple. Now, it doesn't take much. We're at 24.14 as of recording. We don't have to get very far, like 3%, and we're good. Uh, now, that's just link, right? It's obviously going to determine uh, or depend on what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin continues dropping, obviously, it's going to drag the rest of the market down. If Bitcoin bounces and starts moving up, it's going to drag the rest of the market up. Okay, so we'll have to watch Bitcoin as well, as you know. Uh, but link on the 5-Day Gaussian channel, this is the facts. We need to hold that line. So let's look at the next one. What do we got here? Well, this is a link on a daily chart going back. This is over a 1,000-day trend line, approaching 1,040 days. This blue line at the bottom here, going back to 2018. We have not broken that yet. Where are we now? Well, we touched on it at our at our kind of a July capitulation back at, you know, low 13s. Um, what do we have now? Well, zooming in here, look at our downtrend that we've hit. We we need to break out of this. We need to hold this. Uh, and we need to flip this as support and not resistance. Now, look at what else I've drawn here. Our horizontal line uh, going back to 2020 when we had our peak, our summer peak back here. $20. We came back down on our May drop, our initial drop all the way down. We closed right here. $20 again, roughly. And then right now, maybe we have another nice little triple, triple bottom out right in here and then hold that trend line. This is our thousand day trend line. Uh, we could certainly wick down to this sometime in the next week or two, right? We If we, if we fail to continue to hold this as resistance, then I would expect something around this yellow circle to hopefully hold and bounce to the upside again and continue. You can see that link just kind of, kind of tends to slinky up the stairs here. So we, we want to continue to slinky. Okay. So I would, I would, the odds are that something around this area flips and holds. We could obviously flip right now. What do I see in the charts that tell me we don't have to do that, right? We don't have to go back down that low. Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's look at previous moves. Let's look at this move. See our moving averages right here? 21, these are our 21 in the yellow, our 50 in the green, our 100 
uh, day EMA in the blue and our 200 day EMA in the red. So if we zoom in here, you can see these are starting to cross a little bit. Is that a good sign? No, not really. But look at the last time that I'm going to compare this move to. Look at this, these, this kind of move right in here, right? Look at this section right here and look at this section right here. Right when we start crossing this up, it's kind of the bottom already. The bottom has already happened when we start crossing these. There's the bottom. Here's the bottom. So look at this. The the 21 day kind of goes right into the 100 day and gets a bounce. So if we're going to repeat something similar to that, I would say that's probably going to happen this week. Maybe next. Uh, going into Q4. I would love to repeat something like this, wouldn't you? Uh, look at the moves that started happening after this. Look at the previous, uh, the moving averages, right? As we start crossing, comes down, gets the fake out, bounce up off the 100, and and the rest is history. We just start making incredible gains in length. Now, look at, it's not just the moving average that's similar. Look at the moves. Come down, uh, break the 100, break the 200 briefly, and bounce back out of it. Come back down, start making lower highs, break the 100, break the 200, hopefully briefly again, and let's get back out of this, right? Not everything repeats or mirrors in crypto, but it does often rhyme. I would love to rhyme with this. <laughs> that is a heck of a move that comes in the not-so-distant future if we are to repeat something similar. So let's hope for that. Next chart. What do we have here? another downtrend right this is uh still on the daily this is just a zoomed in a little bit more uh we need to flip this as support we're close again are we going to get rejected again back down or are we going to break through it and hold it as support that's what we definitely want to do now these other two lines these are our 50 day moving average simple moving average and our 200 day simple moving average this is a golden cross if these cross to the upside the death cross happened back here Right, a lot of coins got the death cross right, Every, pretty much every coin, and a lot of coins have gotten the, the golden cross already. But a golden cross doesn't mean you have to, uh, you know, skyrocket immediately. Oftentimes it doesn't, right? You get the golden cross, that's just a rule and a catalyst that you need to continue higher. Has Link gotten that yet? No. Why? Well, the current 50-day moving average is $27. We're not going to move up unless prices are above $27. So that's what we have to do. Now, this takes this orange line takes the previous 50 candles in 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 an average. So let's go back and see where 50 is. Well, 50 is right here. Right? So we're taking this in average. Now, look at the candles that are coming. It's upside. So just because um prices don't move, you know, skyrocket up doesn't mean this average won't still creep up, which it will. But Sooner or later, we're going to have to get above $27 if we want this to maintain the cross. Because although these candles will start averaging in, we will likely see this week, maybe next week, continuing to raise. And we might get the golden cross. But then we have these red candles coming in, right? So then we'll get like a fake out, right? It'll seem like a fake out if prices do not continue to rise above $27. So that 200 day is almost $28. So we have to continue to build on that if we want these to sustainably uh cross and hold so that's you definitely want that right the last time link had a golden cross and held which is back in february of 2020 uh we all know what came right after that so that's kind of the anomaly back swan event but i think we you know you could erase this part right omit the black swan and i think this would have looked similar to like this right and we would have just continued on our merry way and that's what we want to happen now as we cross it if you get a golden cross, you want to hold it. So that's what we're looking for on the day-to-day. -day. Let's go to the next one. How about our 21, our link 21-week bull market support band? That's where we are. Well, are we holding the 20-week? Yeah, so far so good. Uh, are, are we broken the 21, which is the 21-week EMA is in the green. The 20-week simple moving average is in the red. So we're holding the 20 week simple moving average, which is certainly your last, uh, our link's last line of defense so far. If we break that and close on a weekly candle below that, we still have six and a half days until we do that. So we have plenty of time, right? We wick below it. The close happened right above it. So still good until you don't want to make, uh, you know, 
emotional decisions based on what you think might happen. That's the fastest way to lose money. If you're not trading based on factual charts and you're listening to other people or listening to news, uh, you're, you're at a recipe for losing. Uh, you need to learn how to interpret charts and trade based on just the charts. Okay, so we want to hold this and then also not just hold it, right? It's hard to get super bullish if you're just holding the 21 week uh, or the 20 week. We, we have to bounce off of it and start closing above the 21 EMA. And then not only that, but we need to separate from it, right? Look at all this, how much time we spent in here grinding, uh, just hanging out, right? Building, 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 building. And then when you start pulling away from the 21 week, that's when you can get your bigger explosive moves. And that's what we need to have happen again. So let's see our last line here. <laughs> uh, uh, my lines have gone, uh, but you can see basically Link has done what since inception? Gone up, right? Uh, par for the course so far. We have not broken any kind of market structure yet, right? Uh, we want to hold that thousand day trend line that we spoke of earlier. Uh, we want to continue to hold the bull market support band. So Link is still okay. Until we start breaking market structure, those levels, as long as we're above $20, uh, I, I think we're still good. I think that is potentially the low. Uh, we might have a wick down a little bit lower, but other than that, uh, look for the bull market support band to hold very nice. Um, and if we close down below that, then we can start looking at other targets to the downside. But until that happens, no need to cross said bridge. Let's look at the... Fear and greed index, crypto fear and greed. Where are we? We're in fear. Is that good? Maybe not. Maybe so, depending on what your outlook is. Let's go look at the the charts, right? So if if we're in fear or extreme fear, which we're really close to, um, does that mean we can't go lower? No. Does that mean we're due for a leg up? Well, yeah. Not maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not next week. But uh, the longer you can stay in in fear right down in these areas everyone's scared everyone thinks that there's going to be continual continual continuous lower prices uh but that often tends to be the opposite right and, and the same holds true with you're in extreme greed uh people think prices will go up forever and obviously that doesn't happen uh very well either so we're down in fear so can we late can we stay down here for a while sure are we going to who knows we don't have crystal balls. We don't have tried to predict the future, but uh, we're back down in these areas. So we want to continue uh, to, you know, just remain calm. And we want to look for signs that are starting to reverse this trend. Well, the first, the first sign would be taking out uh, our high, our 33 high. We need to start building back up again, build our tower up that we talked about last week or a couple of weeks ago. Now uh, we we've fallen back down. We got our warning sign. Uh, you know, back when we made our lower low, right? We, we maintained uh, for weeks, we were watching this. We broke our chart low of 70 and now look where we are, right? And now what do we have to do? Well, we have to start building again, just like your, your building crashes, you got to rebuild and you start building the structure back up. In order to do that, we got to start making higher lows and higher highs uh, with this chart. So that's what we're watching on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, quarter of the day. A person's a person, no matter how small. Dr. Seuss, you've all read Dr. Seuss. What does this mean to you? People can interpret quotes different ways. To me, this means just treat everyone with respect. Everyone's a person. So let's see what else we got. Crypto meme of the day. This is uh, uh, from the Netflix show Narcos. But quite appropriate for today, huh? Don't you think? Quarter, car of the day, car of the day. Lambo... Vision V12. We've shown this one before, but it was in blue. Now we have it in the olive green, right here. Model car. Look how that opens. Electric, part electric, part gas. The whole shell opens. Pretty cool. Only one driver. One driver sits right in the middle of the car. This is not a real Lamborghini just yet, but maybe, maybe some point. Maybe some point uh, they make that and charge whatever the hell they want. All right, that's our first video back. Chain link, a little rough around the edges. I get it. I'll get back into it. Uh, Got to get my routine back. We're at 15 minutes. Thanks for watching this long if you have. 
Uh, hopefully you learned something today. If not, try next video. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Uh, that's Chainlink in a nutshell for the day. Watch your charts. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.